are lovely people. That's my new intro, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but you're all lovely people, including our lovely actors and actress here. Well, hey, this yeah. one's my biggest fan. Dude, dude, totally. It's not even really that big of a fan, though. It just kind of looks yeah, like... Yeah, but it's my only fan, so it's the biggest by association with everything else. I guess that's true. And, uh, yeah, today, actually, uh, we're going to be doing some behind-the-scenes of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Restaurant Co. establishment. And uh, Dan is going to be going over pretty much everything that happened above the ground. And I'm going to be going over some of the technical stuff as well. So uh, we're going to actually be covering these on our respective channels. So if you want to see the upstairs stuff, then feel free to check, you know, this out on Dan's channel if you're already there. And if you're not on my channel and you want to check out the Redstone stuff and behind the scenes, then feel free to hop over to my channel. But anyways... Now, so, Ant, you had to learn a couple of things, didn't you? Yeah, so I guess it's pretty much time that we move into the random redstone, and I guess, you know, more random technical uh, things that have to do with, like, everything that happened here. So, in order, to, in order to set it up, basically, underneath the map, there is a crap ton of redstone. If I actually, I know the specific block to break. If I break this block right here, you can see all the redstone that's underneath this map. Now, you guys don't need to understand all of it, but in order that's to That's a add, lot of redstone. Like, the person who made this map, what did you say his name was again? The Iron Commander. The Iron Commander actually left a lot of really helpful redstone down here that helped me set up some of the extra cameras. So he kept some command blocks here. Basically, these two command blocks, like in any given spot, uh, sets up and rotates the camera. These ones make it so that when you wind up pressing the button in the book, uh, it'll actually like, you know, teleport you teleport your face into the camera slot and like so you can look at the camera and then it teleports you back out. And that's pretty much how that works. And it was a pain to get the custom book as well. But anyway, some of the more interesting redstone, I guess, uh, well, taking note of everything that's around here, a lot of this redstone helped a lot. So, like, there's redstone around here that automatically spawns, uh, you know, mobs that move around on their own at night, which we never used. Yep. And, uh, yeah, okay, uh, if we want to go out, we got to get out over here. You guys can feel free to teleport to me if you'd like. But I had to do some custom redstone of my own, which basically has this, like, clock thing that's going on. I didn't know how else to do this, <laughs> but basically it just constantly checks to see... Uh, it executes on any chicken. So, like, any chicken, it summons an armor stand, and then, like, on the very same tick, it kills the chicken. So it only spawns one, like, armor stand that, you know, is the... Oh, man, like, and I, did, I, did I tell you about the, uh, the thing I had... When I had the server like off the server, like this mm -hmm. world was off the server, and I spawned the foxy by accident. Oh my god! It spawned. You told me wolf. about that. Yeah, it's, it, it was like this kind of like with the chicas, except every single tick it spawned a new foxy, so it, it just made like line art. And oh, it's not oh it's my. not killing them. I don't know why. Oh, 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 oh wait, I think I know this what. Is exactly what we're talking about. There we go. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. And I made another level, it made a level four. So but. you can see what's going on here. That's kind of what happened. But anyways, so that's how I did the whole egg spawning and whatnot. Uh, there's another device that I have set up over here, which we actually used for the very last night. And this basically, uh, well, without getting too technical about it, it checks to see what time of night it is. And it, it teleports this little guy, this Enderman around, uh, you know, based on the whole timing thing. So there wasn't like an actual person teleporting the Enderman around. That was all like automatically done because, you know, having another person be an actor for that just would have been kind of insane. But, uh, yeah. Um, Perfect, yes, yeah, but anyways, so it gives it gives Dan a score during the night that increments like really fast, like five times a second. So every minute is when the Enderman was teleporting around, and it's pretty cool. These guys, they're all just having their own little party of their own. They're just like Redstone. Bleh. I can't <laughs> kill all these chicas. Oh my god, you can't. No. I think some of them are chicas. like invisible or in invulnerable. But anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the redstone is concerned, that's that was like a lot of what I did. Another major thing that I want to show you guys as well is uh, this one, even though it like didn't show up for very long, it was rather complicated. And that is the redstone required in order to teleport the Golden Freddy uh, in and out of the room. And that, again, it was like very, very time consuming to get that just right. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me go and let me see if I can head up here. The person who was acting out Golden Freddy, who was Avorn, uh, had to, like, press buttons up here in order to do a whole bunch of actions at once. So, if I actually, I think, if I press this button right here, I'm not sure if that's gonna work exactly. Um, maybe it will. Okay, yeah, so that, that probably teleported Avorn down, and this guy is still down there. And then there's another switch where if I press this button, it'll teleport the Golden Freddy back in case we had to reset scenes or whatever. Uh, you know, I didn't, we didn't have to destroy the Golden Freddy. 
And at the same time, you know, we could do some clever redstone and whatnot. Um, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and then Golden Freddy also went to game mode three because uh, in Five Nights at Freddy's two, the Golden Freddy actually roams around as like a ghost head. Yep. We wanted to have that in here too. Right. Even though uh, we weren't yeah. actually able to see that in the cameras itself. Uh, oh, we if, saw it a few times. I saw it a few times. Oh, the, the ghost camera. Okay. I didn't I personally see that. But if the Golden Freddy is on game mode three, if we observe it through the camera system, it'll look like a floating head. So it will be a ghost. So it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, yeah. But anyways, uh, I'm trying to think of what else there might be to talk about at this point. What, what, anything else that you can think of? Um, nothing really. I mean, we got the, the, People here have been Pizza. just a big help. Pizza, P -A -Z -Z -A. Yep. But uh, yeah, I mean, I could, we couldn't have done this without the help of all these people. They're all very nice. Absolutely, and, and there's other there's other names that we can't think of as well offhand. Um, you know, very very awesome people who are very patient with some of our exceptionally long recording and preparation yes, sessions. Uh, like, I believe we're episode six four to, took yep yeah, eight hours. Was episode yeah, four six to eight hours per session? Even this session, all in all, took about six hours. We did get better at it, you know, just making sure that every yeah it was like six hours. It was pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, I guess the last bit of redstone that I really want to show off, and I know where to look for it. I think is right around here somewhere and that is how I got this custom book actually that gave us um gave us oh god what is it oh actually I know where they're stored basically I, I had to set up custom cameras and the way I had to do that is I had to create a custom book for it and I, it wasn't really that complicated but if I go ahead and I go into this chest here you can actually see where there's normally only seven cameras I had to set up an eighth and a ninth camera as well so it wasn't really that difficult it just required dissecting the code that was in that command block and then adding on to it and you know that's how we got our commands um yeah i don't think i need to go into it too too much other than that it was you know definitely uh definitely a learning experience and there is a lot that was done on this and we couldn't be more thankful for the people that helped dan especially for you know like this idea was really dan's idea so like i don't want to take credit as the guy who thought of this or anything like that this was like dan all the way and Ooh. I was I was just happy to be along to help, and I'm glad that he invited me along to be you know his co-commentator for this. So, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, dude, it was a lot of fun. Let us know in the comment section down below, you watchers, you. What do you guys think of this? And do you have anything left to say, Dan? This is my favorite animatronic. You're my favorite animatronic. Where are uh, you? <laughs> here. Hang on, I'm teleporting to you. I got. I got. I teleport I, everyone here. This is my ah, favorite animatronic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that demented Mickey? Yeah, this is demented Mickey. Did that you was just actually. I, no, it's been there since uh, night four. It was oh uh, one of the guys that was helping us out had uh, that uh, uh, that skin on, and he was scarier than any of the animatronics we had. Oh my god! Uh, it so was toxic costs. Yeah. yeah, the toxic costs. There you go. Right. Oh my god, dude. It was so good. But yeah, I think that's really it for the behind the scenes. I hope you guys are going to uh, stay tuned for uh, season two. Uh, yeah. we're, we're going to make it a lot different, and we're not going to be like knocking off any of the games or anything we're going with our own unique idea uh, right as you guys might have imagined like we're not exactly exactly following the storyline we're just using elements and trying to sort of remain in the same universe but just try and picture it as if maybe we're in a different store and there's slightly different properties going on you know and, like, and here's the thing i like doing the series not because it gets us views not because you know Five Nights at Freddy's is an awesome franchise, even though I like it a lot. It's because I love scaring the crap out of you guys. <laughs> it's the best feeling when you guys are like, oh, that thing came out of nowhere and it pooped, I pooped my pants. Oh, no. And it, see, it's, it did actually seem like the major, vast majority of watchers, like, you know, at the very least, weren't cringing at our acting, you know. Um, I, yeah, yeah, no. Like, I'm just glad that, like, because, you know, I don't really consider myself to be a great actor, but I guess when acting out stress, I, I, I don't know. I, hopefully I... I know one thing. I'm the king of acting out tired beyond all comprehension. I cannot believe Golden Freddy just destroyed the block that I was trying to parkour on. I no longer like Golden Freddy. He needs to die. Golden yeah. Freddy ruined everything when our recording sessions anyway. <laughs> and then he <laughs> There he <me>. died. <laughs> you know he what? I should, shame. Kill, I should just kill shame. everybody. But anyways, yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything. Uh, any final words to say, Dan? Aside from like us being pudding. killed, I like yes. pudding too. So like yeah, pudding. we hope you all have enjoyed this random little behind the scenes. Uh, if there's any other questions you guys have, feel free to ask and maybe we'll answer on like Twitter or comment sections or whatnot. And, and make sure you check out the original map because, I mean, this wouldn't have been possible without uh, the Iron Commander's default version of this. And yep. 
Leave a like if you guys are ex- my voice cracked. Leave a like if you guys are excited for season two of Five Nights or My Nights at Freddy's, which I believe is going to be called My Nights at Freddy's Factory. So maybe, maybe yeah. it's it's still tentative. This is but, the longest uh, outro in history. Yep. So we're going to <laughs> cut it off right here. Boop. Later.